Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good morning, everyone. I don't know if you guys can hear me, so let's take a look. Good morning, Jenny G. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Kira. All right. Somebody's in a crisis. Let me just text them. Oh, my God. I'm right here, guys. I just want to see if you guys can hear me. I just want to see if you guys can hear me. And you can. I'm right here, guys. I just want to see if you guys can. All right, I'm over myself. How are you all doing today? Hi, Dolly. Good morning. Michelle, good morning. Uh, we back. Yes, we're back again. Yes, we're back because of. Uh, Lamar and I were trying to get through the horoscopes yesterday, and I just teetered out. I was like, I cannot do this. And Lamar's like, I want to finish, Tracy. I want to finish. And I was like, no. I teetered out. I couldn't do it. And now I'm kind of glad I, I didn't do it because Leo reading was a little rough. And I would have blamed it on being tired. I would have been like, see? I shouldn't have done it because I'm so tired, but I'm well rested. And Leo came out the way it came out again with the tower. The tower has been chasing us. <sighs> Boy, I'm going to go back to all the Leo readings, but I think it's been chasing us since March. I think it's been chasing us since March. Um, but I don't know why it's not showing why it's not making an appearance. So maybe we keep dodging this bullet and maybe we just need to face the drama. Maybe the drama just needs to... Ugh. You know what, Tao? Stay the fuck away from me. I'm, I, I, I'm not... No, stay away. I, I can't deal with you right now. Don't come near me, Tower. All right, so I want to remind everyone that we are going to be doing a nine-day novena. Nine-day novena um, starting December 13th. It's at the start of Mercury retrograde. So come join us. The nine-day novena is on my website. Um, I think you can go on my website and copy and paste. So let me just check real quick. Tracy Brown Live dot com. Oh. It says A's on miracles and tings. Enter my world of flowers, because I love flowers. Um, let me see. Oh, that's what I could do. When I'm thinking about it. Hmm. 
figure out how to do that now. All right. The nine day novena, yes, you can copy, you can go on the nine day novena and as you would press anything to copy, scroll down and copy and then paste where you want or you can always go into Tracy Brown Live. We're gonna be doing it daily. We will not be doing it on this show, okay? We're gonna do it separately. on a separate video and that's for people who just want to do the novena beyond the start date but i haven't picked out the start date uh the start time yet i texted your booking number to have a one-to-one -to -one today oh yeah i got you uh let me see i got you sweetie uh unless i got Oh, okay. Um, do you just want to book with me right now? Do you want, tell me what time you want and I'll put you in. And I'll let you know if I have that time available. Any time after two o'clock, two o'clock, anytime after two o'clock Eastern, not Pacific. Any time after two. Can you do two? <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I have, I'm letting the, the booking desk know. So, yes, anytime after two, your 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, we're good. We're so good. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mother of Brats. Oh, guess what I found out? So, this Rastafarian, right? Was like, I'm learning a, a lot of things on IG. I love IG, but I don't think I saved it. Ugh, I hate myself when I don't save things. But a, Rastafar <clears throat> a Rastafarian said, nope, I didn't save it. Damn it. Uh, let me see if I sent it to another group. <laughs> nope. Well, another uh, Rastafarian said that we should not be using the word good morning, good morning. So don't be surprised if I change the title of my show. He said, which I'm sure you guys have heard that morning is for death, right? You're mourning. Your morning. So, good morning might come from um, a, a, a word in a funeral where, like how we turn sadness into a celebration, a repast. So, it might be derived from a funeral where it's like, we're going to have a good morning. It's going to be a good morning not a sad morning. So it might be even um, a slave word that got turned around to a greeting.
So, um, I might change the name of the show, which is the reason why, and I didn't understand this like 100%, but it might be the reason why I was saying good health to everyone, but I, I always do things spiritually by accident. Um, I was talking with my group and I was saying something in the group and uh, one of the people in our group is a, a mental health professional um, and she's studying to be a doctor. And I said something and she goes, you don't, you didn't even realize what you said, but it was very apropos for someone's mental health. And I love hearing stuff like that because um, a lot of what I do is spiritually by accident, a lot of what I do. So ever since COVID, I had decided that I would not use good morning Ever since COVID, I had decided that I would say good health. And that's how good health came about. Um, and so I'm going to go back to that. Um, I think it's really important to say good health because it reminds us to be in good health. And if you can understand how good morning um could encourage the mo the morning the morning of something, then you can respect maybe changing our linguistics because the way this world is acting today, we don't know when a flooding is come. Everything is being flooded. Dubai, Vermont, Turkey is having earthquakes. Um, some parts of Africa, I forget which country, flooding. China stores are disappearing. American companies are leaving China. And so it has gotten to the point where I, I wanna offer up good health to everyone if that makes any sense. Yes, Dantel, how are you? That is, could be why a lot of people say good day. And the Rastafarian said Grand Rising. And I know a lot of you use Grand Rising. And I don't think I ever understood or respected Grand Rising, but now I do. Master numbers, 11 and 22. Let's start fresh, everyone. Right, Chantel, you're amazing. Good health, family, good health. And if you notice when you say good health, it just flows. Notice, there's no like a off balance in the intonation of saying good health, right? It flows, good health, good health, it flows. Good morning kind of makes your, 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 the, say good morning, good morning. Where that H, that H flows nicely. All right, let me go back. Okay, 2 p.m. is fine. I got to. Um, good morning, A Walker. Missed you yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could not. I could not. I, I, I was like, Tracy, what do you want to do? And I was like, curl up in my sofa with a blanket and watch Black Cake. Has anybody watched Black Cake yet? So good. So good. 
You do have a lot of water. Oh my God, you do. Ah. Hold on. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Also, good morning. Good morning, Reds. Aww. Mother of Rats, good morning. Of course, I will see you then. Lena, absolutely. Mella, Koopa, good morning. Miss AC, Miss Tracy, I randomly uh, was attacked by a homeless person on a train yesterday. I'm in shock. So, were the cops called? Was there any blood? Do you need, did you need to go to the hospital? Do you need to report this? Are you in New York City? There should be a police report, sweetie. If something comes down, you have a police report to say that you were attacked. Do you need to sue the city? You really think about, stop. Stop everything, you got attacked. Take care of this legally. Did you file a police report? Because that, this is not good. Yes, Grand Rising so works, Black Love. Hey, Black Love, where you been? Um, Grand Rising works. Say Grand Rising. Mm -hmm. That was one of the words that the Rastafarian used. It's like Grand Rising, say that instead. Maybe I saw it on YouTube. Let me see if I can find it. I think I saw it on YouTube. Why didn't I save it? Here it is. Do you guys want to hear it? I found it. I found it. Listen up. We're going to learn. We're going to get educated today, people. If you can understand it. You may not be able to understand it. Seven words. Rasta man, na ya bingi man, a bingi man, a bobo man, farm tribe man, ancient man, children say. Linguistic language latitude, word song is power. So be careful of words that you say because they can bring spells to you and to your family. Linguistic language latitude, a teaching of Jamaican I, Rastafari, I and I in belief 
Number one, we greet one and say, hello, hell is low. Why we can't say greetings or my beloved, beloved, blessed. Number two, appreciate. In the same word song you have hit. Why can't we say appreciate love or love for kids? Appreciate love, love for kids, not appreciate. Number three, morning. In the same word, why can't we say morning? Why we say morning? We are mourning for someone dead. We must say grand rising, grand rising. Number four, dedicate. In the same word, you hear the pronunciation dead. And we want to create something where we can enlighten or uplift one. So we say Libby Kit or I as I the Kit, Libby Kit, not dedicate. Five, a purse. In the same word song, word song like you pee up. But at the same time, we create a word song as don't press. We say don't press her, like Peter that say, don't press a man. Right? Six word, sincere, sincerely. In the same word song, you hear the word sin. I sincerely, or I sincerely, instead of sincerely, sincerely, or I sincerely. Number seven, understand. Why we always have to be under, negative, under. We must say over, or overstand, overs, or innerstand, or iverstand. Seven words, Rasta man, Rasta woman, Rasta family, shouldn't say within their surrounding linguistic language latitude. So tune in to Lion Eye View TV. Subscribe and share. Give thanks for the listeners, for those that tune in from the same foot and forevermore. Yeah? Rastafari. Yeah. So, um, I just joined. I just joined. Okay. Good health, Miss Tree. Hi, Steph. How are you, Steph? I don't know if you have tutorials on lipstick and shit, but uh, I'm really trying to get my black lips on. Really trying. Get my black lips on. I don't know if you have tutorials on black lips. But I need help. I need help on black lips, child. I gotta get my black lips on. It's not right. All right. Ah, sorry that happened to you. Let me see. Why does this always happen to me? Let's start fresh. Good health, family. I want everyone to have an amazing day. Yes. Oh, I just realized today is 1122. Two master numbers, everyone. Oh, that's why I changed my greeting. Yes, it's true. It's slow nicely. Yes, good health flows nicely. The grand rising of the sun of the Ra. Got it, soul sister. Thank you. Black cake is excellent. I know. I'm shocked at how much I love black cake. But um, is it a series that's unraveling week by week? Or are we getting everything at once? Because I was watching Black Cake and then it abruptly went to something else. I don't know what happened. So are we watching it week by week? I'm so confused. I love Black Cake, me too. 
um, found morning Miss Tracy, my love bug. Oh, oh, I love found morning my. Oh, thank you, Neat Weaver. But I might change it from morning. I don't know what I'm gonna change it to, but I, I might change it to Grand Rising. I might change it to Good Health. Good health with Tracy and the Mystical Misfits. There's a metaphysician that says wholeness and balance. What does that mean, sweetie? There's a metaphysician physician that says wholeness. And, oh, they say wholeness, good wholeness, good balance? What do you mean? How do they exactly say it? I got, oh, that says good wholeness and balance. Oh, I like that. That works for me, too. Sorry to hear that, Miss AC. So Miss AC is continuing on. I'm in New York. Of course you are. I saw it. I saw the New York train, y'all. I saw it. Threw a bottle at me. I'm okay. Thank God I wasn't hurt. I ran to get offices who were a few feet away. In that short of a time, he pushed another woman. The police acted like they were afraid. Did you file a police report, sweetie? It'll make sense later. Always follow police report. It will make sense later, I promise you. So, did they follow police report? I don't care if they're afraid or not. Did they arrest him? Did they follow police report? Because that's some bullshit right there. Speaking of black cake, I first tasted it made by my son's grandmother from St. Thomas. Have you tasted black cake yet, Tracy? Because it's so good. No. I have not tasted black cake. I have to find out what this black cake is. I know it's a Caribbean thing. So I gotta find me some black cake unless I tasted it. But black cake has rum in it, doesn't it? So no, I've tasted a fresh rum cake, which is to die for. Fresh rum cake. When you taste fresh rum cake out of somebody's kitchen, not store brought bullshit, out of somebody's kitchen, you're so happy. You are in a happy place. But fresh, but black cake is made from rum, isn't it? I just want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. And how did they get it so black? Can, can I send the link? Oh, sure I can. <sighs> and I know that you mean the coffee. Messenger. There you go, and there you go. Sent it. Sent it our time. Um, okay. Rhonda, do you have my telephone number? Either DM me on IG, Rhonda, I'll be happy on IG. Oh, these girls are growing up. Oh my God. When you get one of your clients that you watch their kids like from maybe seven or eight, and they are now in their teens. It's just so amazing to watch your clients' kids grow up. Amazing. Rhonda, where do I know you from? Email me or text me. Okay. And then tell me where. Oh, let me see. Oh, no.
All right. What's a brown pencil? What do you mean? What's a brown pencil? Oh. Hey, Walker, let me go back up. Maybe I missed something. A walker, a walker, a walker. I don't get the brown pencil reference. Okay, you got it. And Rhonda, you you send me something and I'll send it to you. You're using a brown pencil, right? Oh, you look cute though. Oh. Oh, they are releasing episodes periodically. Hmm. Well, I got as far as finding the sister and her telling her child. When she went up to her parents, she acted just like the other sister. You could tell their sisters by their attitudes. She told her mother, no, get up now. <laughs> Get up, both of you. Who am I? Tell me. She wanted her mother to lie to her one more time. I was like, Lord, Mama, if your daughter comes comes into your, you know you did something, your daughter comes into your room in the middle of the night and says, get up. And the question that she asks is, tell me about my birth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Because this, that's a, mm, 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 mm. it's not good. I was like, oh, Lord. I was like, Mama, tell the truth. And did you see the way she told the truth? She told the truth like, when I held you and you touched my finger, uh-uh, I don't want to hear that. How, how long were you a labor woman? Tell me about the labor. Tell me about how you got to the uh, hospital in time. Tell me about the doctor that watched you for nine months. Tell me all of that. Mm -hmm. And then she never told her um, husband. That woman kept some secrets. Caribbean rum soaked fruit cake. Yes. Yes. But that's not the fruit cake that y'all know in the states. Mm -mm. That fruit cake in the states sucks. Uh uh. Good morning, Tracy and Chad. Hi, Mama G. How are you? A male friend from gave me black cake from his mother. Laugh out loud. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't eat it. I thought she wanted me to be her daughter-in-law. Well, child, listen to me. So, sister, you gifted. You're gifted. If you felt that, that was the truth. If you felt that, mm -mm. that was the truth. That was the psychic truth. And you said, oh, hell no, you're not feeding me no black cake. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I am so ignorant. That's how, don't take away my black card, right? Don't take away my black card. But the ignorance runs high. I did not even know. Ah, I'm making sure you're using a brown lip liner. Got it, got it. I do have brown, doesn't, come out right, but I do have brown. Black cake is a type of fruit cake. Tastes and looks nothing <laughs> like the disgusting American fruit cake. Has alcohol, but don't know what type. Rum. Made a year in advance. Oh, I think. And so moist and delicious. Rum cake is delicious. I can't even imagine what black cake tastes like. No, I never got the Fenty Red. No. No, I never got it. And I'm really upset over that. I'm really pissed actually over that. Hi, Stacy. 
So, maybe I should learn how to make black cake. But I'm not a baker. That's the only thing. Baking is not my jam. I could try it, though. But baking is not my jam. Talking about baking, I think I need a new stove. I don't know what year this stove is, but it ain't. It ain't working no more. So, we're now going to change to any version of anything except good morning, y'all. I'm not forcing you because I know it looks like I'm telling everybody what to do. And I am. <laughs> but um, it's for our greater health, spiritual health. And if you're going to be on a spiritual ride with this chick, we got to get you on point. So, any version of, we're not going to say hello anymore, right? Um, anything you want to make up, go ahead and make it up. Uh, I'm going to ride with you. Um, but we want to start using language that elevates, that reaches the sky, that goes beyond the sun, that reaches to God, right? And we're not trying to mourn. We're not trying to have a good morning, right? Because um, I, I think other countries don't use good morning. Right? Spanish says, Buenos dias, good day. Um, the UK, I'm pretty sure they say top of the day, or Irish says top of the day. And I'm pretty sure the UK says good day. I gotta ask, but I think we're the only one that has used good morning. And I think that might have a slave um, connotation to it. I don't know. But rise and shine, everyone. That works. Um, <laughs> that's so true. I don't even know why they would try and imitate, in, in, uh, what's the word? Copy it. Hi, Miss Kimberly. Grand help. Dory and all. Yes. All right. We're on pity pity watch. We're on pity watch. Something's going down, guys. Something's going down. And this is the calm before the storm. Because I think I think that there might be some New York heads that needs to be looked at now. I think that there should be some Los Angeles heads in the police department and prosecutors that need to readdress some cases that they let go with Diddy. Something's coming down the pike where these entities have to take more responsibility for letting a monster in the streets constantly, constantly. All right. Oh, Miss Tracy, good health, rise and shine. Oh. Don't you remember your mama saying that to you? Rise and shine. You guys never got that? I got that. Rise and shine. Yeah, come up. I'm up, mom. I rise and shine every day. Rise and shine sounds so uplifting. It really does. I will rewrite. Yes, you're going to rewrite your destiny. Right.
That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna rewrite. Hi, sassy cat. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus walked, when Jesus walked, when Jesus walked, when Jesus walked, he wiped my tears away. Oh, happy day. All right. Isn't that from Sister Act? And then they went into like this, this stomping version. I might listen to that today. All right, guys. I wanted to talk about Diddy Watch. And for right now, I'm just putting it on the table that a lot of cases that involved Diddy needs to be readdressed. Some people needs to be reprimanded. We need to find out why Diddy has gotten off often. You know, he actually went to trial for something. They need to go back to those jurors and find out if they were bribed. So, I want to know, is J-Lo okay? J-Lo's name has come up, but not on a big scale. Has she, was she beaten by him? Was she told to do something? You know that green dress? Didn't he tell her to wear that green dress? Didn't he tell her to wear that green dress? You came out. At that, um, some music award, she came in that green. I mean, it was a beautiful green dress, but was she forced to wear it? Because if I remember correctly, she wore the dress, but she was kind of like, eh. I didn't see the big deal, but I wore it because he wanted me to wear it. That's what I remember her saying. Please God, talk to me. <laughs> Please God, talk to me. Talk to me about J-Lo. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. J-Lo's your child. She's your love. She's your beloved. Please, Father God, authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 The first thing I'm getting with her is the four of wands. She does seriously not want to participate in this. She is running from the sanctity of what she has created she's running and this is the drama way over here this is the village right and she's running from the village what role does she take because there are several roles here notice she's also in the middle of the night leaving um I get the moon card. She wants to bury her head. She does not want to be a part of any language that where her name can come up. She has protected herself all this time by never mentioning his name. She has gone to a madrina. 
and she has literally blocked Diddy from ever getting to her. She had to go to some heavy magic and I don't believe she stayed in America. I think she had to go somewhere else to a seer, a madrina. I believe it was a woman. Um, probably, could I would say it was Puerto Rico, but I'm kind of thinking not Puerto Rico. I believe she went someplace else to get help. I actually want to say she went to DR. And I think it was, I'm getting the number two years of magic, but I think it was at least five years of magic to keep him away from her. Like his eyes off of her she had to do some heavy work and she had to pay a big price to get this work done. But the person that she went to was truly magical and truly capable. And she did all kinds of things with herbs and fruit and flowers and wood. Um, she had to go to the depths of the ocean to stop the energy of him trying to manipulate himself back into her life. I get the Queen of Swords. She went to a very, very powerful woman that's probably not alive any longer, probably passed on. Um, um, and I'm getting a DR, but I also think this woman was very, very dark skinned. Um, I feel like she had wild hair. I feel like she was in the jungle, but deep in the jungle, child. I feel like this woman didn't need to make money. She just had the knowledge. I think she made money from her craft and then she became a recluse. And I feel like nobody ever went to her because I don't think she needed anything. I think she lived off the land. This, her craft was not about money. I feel like JLo gave her something though. There's something that she gave her. I, I want to say she might have rebuilt a home for her. But I, I also think the woman didn't want to take it. I feel like she said, I don't need that. But I think ultimately she's in the rainforest. So Jayla, I feel like she rebuilt something for her. Yep. Chow, these cards are talking. They had to have a whole ceremony for uh, J-Lo. And I said five years, but it looks like it was six years to get uh, Diddy away from her. I never realized how powerful Diddy was. 
I never understood that. It, to me, it was an unassumed power. Like, what is this when someone has this much power and you're a black man? Who's protecting him? There's a man of power that's protecting him. And look at all the people in the field. Guys. P. Diddy is a part of a ring. He's a part of a ring of very, very powerful executives, powerful judges. powerful lawyers that has connections to the judges that has connections to um, the very prosecutor right they're all in bed together mm -mm. it's not about the movie industry or the music industry it's bigger it's bigger it's like our version of the Illuminati. But remember, he never calls out the Illuminati. But it's like being a part of the Illuminati. But it is big. The circle is big. And the circle probably... The circle probably goes straight up to go straight up to presidents. What's this? I don't know what that is. No, no, he was not going to Epstein Island because he's the type of person that says, I can do the same thing here, the black version. So no, the two cultures by way of color never mix. But it was the same identical thing going on simultaneously. When Epstein was going down, who was quiet? Notice somebody was very quiet when Epstein was going down. When R. Kelly was going down, who was quiet? but it's bigger than them. Those are the peons, right? Everybody that y'all are mentioning are the peons. I'm talking about the one percenters, the five percenters. I'm talking about those executives that would sit in a room and watch snuff movies. I'm talking about secret society people. that wears the, uh, the robe to a meeting. Y'all keep mentioning people and it's bigger than you guys. 
Stop mentioning people. If you can't imagine bigger than Bill Gates, then you're not getting it. It's huge. It's huge. These are families that I don't even think you all actually know. Hmm. Bill Gates <clears throat> might be the public representation of these families even. So Bill Gates might be a peon. <clears throat> J-Lo knew that if she stayed with him, she wouldn't be alive. Stop mentioning names, guys. I don't want y'all to keep mentioning names on this channel. Stop mentioning names. You've got to be smarter than that. It's Don't mention names. Use your psychic ability to just kind of figure it out. You don't have to be right. I don't have to be right. You don't have to mention names. We are not calling out these goddamn families. Mm-mm. Because -mm. whoever you think, the answer is no. You don't know them. These are judges. These are lawyers. These are politicians you don't even know. Or suspect. So stop mentioning names because there's something here where people just want to be right. And it's like, like spiritually, it, you have to be the overseer. You just have to know and not say. You just got to know. It's bigger than you and I. And J-Lo knows everything. And she knows she would have been unalive at some point. She was threatened. She was threatened. Yes, it's the one that's hidden, but in plain sight. J-Lo knew, J-Lo knew, J-Lo knew. Y'all have no idea the information that J-Lo got. The one person that Diddy trusted was J-Lo. He told her everything. She had to get out. She had to get out. All right. Because JLo knows too much, she's never going to speak on it. She's never going to speak on it. She'll speak. She's already spoken on her relationship with him. And I don't know when she spoke, but this is going back a number of years. And what she said then is enough. She's never going to speak on this. She has seen too much, heard too much, know too much, understand how rotten to the core the, the person that she was sleeping with was not good. 
That's a good point, that's all. Can you imagine what knowing too much does to a person's mind? And I have often seen, I, it's butterfly season right now, it's so funny, it's so beautiful. I have often seen J-Lo being on a talk show and someone, and I've mentioned this before, and someone will say to her, to this day, Diddy was just talking and he says, you were the one that got away. And she always goes, hmm. She don't say yay, nay, nothing. Um, she also was a victim of abuse. She didn't stay for the abuse. And he also threatened her. I feel like he said, I'll have you 10 feet under and your mama will never find you. Something like that. I don't know how far after that gun incident. And is that the same gun incident where Shine took the rap and went to jail for 10 years? I don't know about all of that. But whenever that gun incident was, and I do believe she does have a record based upon that gun incident, I think that's how she got away. She was like, I'm done. And that was her escape route. Um, never to readdress him ever again. Yes, the gun incident was like, and remember she's a Leo. So if there wasn't an out at the time, because I do believe that she was trapped, which is the devil card, I do believe she was trapped. If there wasn't an out at the time, um, she made this an out. I got something else to tell you though. I feel like her career, I hate to say this, guys. I feel like, I hate to say this, but I'm going to have to say it. I feel like he was going to make her music career. And I feel like without him, could she have a music career without him, right? I believe that after she left him, they, they, had, they still had conversations because he was trying to get her back. And I think somewhere in their conversations, he promised to take care of her in a different type of way to keep her mouth shut. And that's how her movie career started. And I think her music came out based upon her movie career. Right, she was arrested. That I just said that. I didn't even see this answer. JLo has been rewarded for her silence. The movie career, oh, she had a Vegas residency too. She's still thriving due to her silence. C Candace, I just said that. I didn't even see your answer. Um, and how I got that answer was through the Knight of Pentacles, right? Now, if you look carefully at the Knight of Pentacles, green, this is like a bush, but it's in a form of a person, right? 
Um, the sunflowers, right? The sun, Ra, money, right? But look carefully at the green thing. What do you all see? Do you guys see anything? Very, very subtle. There's a little tiny wee wee sticking out. Little tiny wee wee sticking out. That let me know that not only did he love her, to this day he loves her, but it, he led with this little tiny wee wee and kept her career going. Mm. Wow. <coughs> Woo, J Lo. Oh, J Lo. J Lo. Four of Cups. Five of Swords. I get the tower, J Lo. I get the tower. Somebody is going to ask you for help. Will you deny them help? I thought she changed her name. No, I thought J Lo came after the relationship. Let me see. How many nicknames does J Lo have? Because I thought it came after she left. Because I remember thinking, oh, that's weird. She changed her name and he changed his name. He went from Puffy to, to Diddy or something like that. Over a decade. When was the arrest? I got to be honest with you. j -Lo's one of the prettiest people ever. It was in 2001 that she became known as J-Lo. Puffy changed his name. In 2001. Oh my God. This was a marketing ploy. When was the When did Diddy and Puffy, I mean, Diddy and J-Lo arrested? Let's see if that was after 2001. It was in 1999.
he did not give her that name, but this was part of the marketing ploy to reinvent themselves. And I believe this these are the conversations that they had. So she didn't break up with him 100%. She was having conversations about her career. Um, he helped rebrand her. He rebranded himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this was after they had already broken up, guys. So he did not give her the J-Lo name. It was rebranded after the gun incident. I hear all of you say what you're saying. I'm telling you guys, psychically, that's not what happened. This was after the gun incident and she was attached to it. So she had to rebrand her name and JLo became the thing. But he did rebrand himself because at the same time, he became Diddy. Everybody's lying. That's what I'm like, psychically, everybody's lying, but that's okay. If you look at the historical history, the historical um, uh, uh, component to this, historically, under Puffy and Jennifer Lopez, they got arrested. I feel like after, after the trial and he was acquitted, they, re, they both rebranded himself themselves and it worked because the public is ignorant, it worked. So is she lying? No, she's protecting herself, guys. I don't know if it's the same thing. I'm not faulting her. You know, I just want you guys to know that it was associated with this trial and both of them getting arrested. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So, yes, 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 yes. They needed to disassociate themselves from the gun charge. Because Puffy would always be about the trial that Shine took 10 years for. So, technicality, the technicality of all of this is that they agreed together to rebrand and market themselves separate. But Diddy did not give her the name. It was mandated for them both to restructure and rebrand themselves. Oh, I get it, Jenny. Thank you. Oh, child, somebody received my message because y'all making me work. Um, but JLo, I thought, guys, I thought she was gonna escape this. She's not. The tower shows up because the walls are crumbling down. Um, I just feel like this could be a big case. And I think the authorities are going to knock on your door, j -Lo, and they're going to need you to talk. And for her, I get the Nine of Pentacles. I get the Three of Cups. And I get the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like she's not going to want to talk unless somebody pays her. I don't know what that looks like. I'm just telling you, I don't think she's going to want to talk unless somebody gives her a guarantee.
I don't know why, guys. I'm just going to say it. I feel like there was a pregnancy between her and Diddy. And I think she was forced to get rid of the pregnancy. I think there was a pregnancy here. No, Shine didn't do it, Many Moon. Mm -mm. He did take the rap. He didn't do it. Um... There's a young kid mixed into this equation. Um, there's a young kid mixed up in here. I don't know if it has something to do with Diddy's camp. His camp for children, but there's a young kid mixed up in here. I keep saying this young kid is mixed up in here, and you know, I think he's a man now, and I think he's gonna have something to say. It's a young kid. I'm wondering if the if if this is a young kid, I don't even know. Maybe it's somebody I don't know. I thought Puffy was a silly name. And then when he went to Diddy, I was like, how is that different? But guys, I also think there's a connection and I don't know how. I think there's a connection to Diddy. And Will Smith's wife. What's her name? The name is escaping me. I keep wanting to say Jared. There's a connection between Diddy and Will Smith's wife. And I believe that Will Smith's wife was asked to break up that marriage. I think, I think Diddy was jealous of Mark Anthony. And I feel like he always thought that he should be the one walking down the aisle. I remember looking at JLo's wedding and feeling Diddy's pain. And now I get it because that wedding was in so much secrecy. She wanted, you know, stuff over the wedding. Helicopters had to fly over because she was trying to keep Diddy out. I think, what is that woman's name? Jada. I think she had a bond with Diddy to take Mark Anthony out.
Gene talked about it? Who's Gene? You know, I'm not sure if it's Usher or Bieber. I think there might be a surprise little boy coming through. There might be a surprise somewhere. Drake would have been young enough. Who's Jean? Yes, Jean, Jean Deal talked about it. Talked about what, Lene? Well, the Selena movie I thought was very, very good, Jada. And um, she did have the acting chops for that movie. And I want to be fair to, to J-Lo. They did pick someone Latin. She did have the acting chops for that movie. Um, what year did Selena come out? Because you got to understand, there's other things going on here. What year did Selena come out? <sighs> Nineteen ninety seven. And that gun incident was nineteen ninety nine. So the movie had already been out. Um What year did P. Diddy and J. Lo start dating? So it says here they dated in 1999. What year was Diddy's trial? Diddy's trial was in 1999, December 1999. So they were together from December One more question. Sorry, I got to do this by myself, guys. I'm trying to figure something out. What year did Bieber meet Diddy?
Sorry, guys. I'm just inside my head right now. All right. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm sticking to the fact that I'm sticking to the fact that uh, P. Diddy broke up uh, Jadel's marriage. It was revenge he got on her for marrying that man. Yes, I do remember that. She also moved away from R&B and hip hop music and went back to her musical roots. I think she also moved to South America. I wonder if P. Diddy was the reason. Who is this? Who is this? But you guys, I'm not judging J-Lo. I'm not judging her. I thought the Selena movie was good. Um, I just wanted to see if the Selena movie had anything to do with P. Diddy, but it didn't. I think after the Selena movie, she needed more. And that's why she paired up with P. Diddy. But... I don't know, guys. Like, I don't bail on another Leo. I'm not going to do it. I think she's beautiful. I've always liked her. Um, whether she can sing or act or whatever, like, I like her. And I don't bail on other Leos. True and true. I'm not doing it. Um, I I watch most of her movies and most of them are corny, but I like them. Um, and most of her songs, y'all can like her, you can not like her, but she's a performer and she pulls the shit out of the, the rabbit, you know? And what her and Shakira did for the Super Bowl is unmatched. So I'm, I'm not going to bail on another Leo. I'm not going to do it because I know how hard it is to be a Leo. So I'm, I'm a true and true. She's a New Yorker. She's a Puerto Rican. She's a Leo. That's the trifecta of whatever, whatever. I'm not bailing on her. Oh, Gene was P. Diddy's bodyguard. So Gene said something? No, no. I don't think you guys understand the, the, um, the secret society. They always let somebody black in. Always. How do you know what the blacks are doing if you don't let them in? That again, that's something that goes back to slavery. There was always a spy in the the fields. What's going on out there? So and so thinking about running away, Massa. He's slave mentality, true and true. As long as he's taken care of, he could care less about anybody else. But those parties never mixed. Notice that. Those parties never mixed. And if there were any others at those parties, 
they came through a back door. You didn't even see them come through the front door. That's what I'm telling you. Y'all some J-Lo haters, man. I ain't bailing on J-Lo. I'm t I, I won't do it. She's a Leo. Mm -mm, I won't do it. Because unless you understand what it's like to be a Leo, mm -mm, we are survivors. Mm -mm, I, I won't bail on her. I really, really do like her. And the whole of New York had, has disdain for J-Lo. The whole of New York. She survived New York. Mm -mm. Nope. This was deep, guys. This took up all our time. This was deep. I'm glad I started it early enough because y'all know I can talk for an hour about bullshit. So something told me, get into this. And I was like, what am I going to see? And Spirit was like, get in early. I was like, fine. Fine, Spirit. It was deep. Now, um, any violent movies that she's been in, I have not seen. I won't watch violent movies. It's just, I can't pop, I can't process. But, uh, yeah, but she didn't get the tower in the first 10, which is important. But, if she thinks she is escaping this drama, she's not. Y'all know I've been reading Leos for months now. And the tower has been following Leos for months now. So she gonna get her tower moment in this, in this. But I feel like she's only gonna get her tower moment based upon a real criminal investigation. Oh, Shakrisha. Oh. Jean said at a party long ago, Will and Jada tried to hit on J-Lo and Diddy got mad. And then Diddy went back to J-Lo and said, take down Mark Anthony. Right side up, mother. Right side up, mother. Nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. All right. I'm going to put it out there because I think I have the right to put it out there. So it's coming down to jail, protect your mother. That's what it's coming down to. I'm done. Oh my God. This shit is not done. The, the deletions are not done. All right, guys. Mm. All right, guys. I'm done. God, this is some bullshit. I love you.
Ah. You're welcome, sweetie. You're welcome. Oh. That's right, sweetie. You're a Sagittarian. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys. Oof. I'm going to have to end this a little samba. Cue the music. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, 